Greetings everyone, the good tonight here. Today we're going to do a little bit of work on the old uh, MP5 SD. So I stopped by uh, Spark or Airsoft to date not too long ago and had a, a little battery extension made for me. There, there we go. So yeah, just something quick for the cables. For the uh, SEMA MP5s, they usually cable up here in the front towards the uh, forward hand grip. However, there's also, ingeniously placed, a little battery, or not battery, uh, a cable connector back here that can be swapped out. So if you move from your uh, retractable stock to a fixed stock, and as I prefer the fixed stock look, we're going to go ahead and pop this off real quick here. It pops out with the little uh, takedown pin. Kind of. Ugh. You know, one of these days, one of these days, these will go over smoothly. I swear. Just uh, today's not that day, so we'll use an Allen key, I guess. We'll pop that out. And there is a little brass pin, that, or a uh, brass uh, core in there that's going to be of a concern. There we go. So that pops out. You can slide this, and here's the uh, brass pin. You got to make sure you keep a hold of this, because if you lose that, you're going to have a hard time getting the pins back in. So, we got, we got a battery in there already. So, that aside, what we're going to do is back here, as you can see, is where the uh, extra connection plug is. So we're going to go ahead and unplug that. Uh, pop that out, unplug that now. The reason this was necessary is, as you may see, this uh, battery cable only comes out to about here. And the buttstock is noticeably longer. So, with that in mind, we'll take this. And with the most dexterous of work, we will connect it there. Come on. There we go. And now, we will make sure she works before we continue installation. So plugging it in, aiming at a safe location. She smoots, she shoots smoothly, everyone. I tend to say shoots and smoothly at the same time, and that's how you get words like schmoots. So, that accomplished. We now have our cable, which is actually decently long, so we will likely fold the battery inwards. It's pretty flexible. It's a flexible cable, so we'll make this work. So we'll go ahead and place that in there, like so. We will uh, get that ready. We'll replace our metal, our uh, brass pin. Come on, ever so delicately, ever so delicately. There we go. There we go, guys. See, it's all coming along swimmingly. And with that in place, slide that in, pin back in position. All right. And now we no longer have to worry about the battery casing in the front. This can be sealed down and secured permanently. Which means our next project will be attempting to fit this rail on there so that we can connect a flashlight or any small little utility item. So, first and foremost, we'll pop the back of the stock open. And now we got to do the task of fishing out the cable. Which is going to, re again, require tools that I do not have readily available because that's how you just get prepared for these sort of things. It is a little impromptu, I'll admit. It's not the uh, best thought out plan ever. Come on. Oh boy, yep, it's, uh, it's right in there, but just out of range. So, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it works, so we know it's good. I just gotta get that cable in place, so... That's, uh, that's all the uh, quick work I wanted to do on this today, so hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, stay tuned. We'll uh, see how well this works. I can get larger batteries here now, so pretty exciting. We'll see how it goes down. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Stay chill with us.